Rain picked up throughout the day in parts of Santa Cruz County Wednesday, but it did nothing to keep crowds away from the most popular areas. We're so lucky where we live here. It's, you know, it's beautiful. But with a high surf warning issued by the National Weather Service for Thursday morning to Friday morning, officials want people to stay away. What we're going to see are some extraordinarily large waves on top of on a high tide of, of six or seven feet, and the tides have actually been running higher than predicted. When you put waves of that size on top of tides that are that high, we have the potential for some coastal damage and certainly coastal flooding. The county says it's been focused on working to get the word out to avoid the beach and look at the high surf only from safe distances. Stay on cliffs, stay high off the beach, don't go for a dog walk. Areas like this are of the biggest concern for county officials, the lower lying areas. This is Rio Del Mar Beach in Aptos. It's an area that was hit very hard by the high surf earlier in the year. The famous cement ship is just behind me, and many of you might remember that it once had that famous pier leading up to it. That pier was so badly damaged in the high surf that it had to be taken out completely. The city of Capitola also still recovering from the high surf in January. Construction was going on to rebuild the badly damaged wharf. Businesses hit hardest, like the sandbar in the village, only just now recovering. There's still more to do. Um, we got the front done. It's, uh, it's coming along. It's refreshing to be back in business again. That's great. That's great. But uh, there are definitely worries. Equipment to create sand barriers could be seen around the businesses, but the county says it's been difficult to keep up with the constant weather events hitting the area. We're kind of into the cycle, unfortunately, of trying to scramble every year to fix these uh, roads and then getting hit with another wave of significant winter storms. The impact of the vicious cycle also felt by the hard hit business owners who say they're working hard to keep their spirits up. I'm just going to try and stay positive. In Santa Cruz County, Zach Fuentes, ABC 7 News.